In the lesson 7.2 example, what's your GPA? We're going to look at bias and how that affects the margin of error of a confidence interval. As part of a project about response bias, Ellery surveyed a random sample of 25 students from her school. One of the questions in the survey required students to state their GPA out loud. Based on the responses, Ellery said she was 90% confident that the interval from 3.14 to 3.52 captures the mean GPA for all students at her school. We want to know if there could be a potential source of bias in Ellery's study that is not accounted for by the margin of error. So what the margin of error accounts for is sampling variability. But if there was some bias in the way the survey was uh, collecting responses, then it's possible that this interval doesn't even contain the true mean. What we decided was the margin of error doesn't account for the fact that many students might lie about their GPA to make it sound higher. If the survey were anonymous, maybe they would be more truthful, but because they know Ellery, maybe they want to sound like they have a better GPA than they did. So they may tell Ellery that their GPA is higher. And the mean GPA in that case uh, for all students might be even less than the lower bound of 3.14 that Ellery got. If you'd like to try a problem like this in your book, you can try exercise 9 in this section.